well else no better way to start 2020 for yourself and for the fans I'm sure the new contract extent, contract extension until the end of the season how pleased are you with that yeah yeah please no brainer from my side um, it was a it was a case of just um, obviously the club offered me a new contract and it was it was done really quickly to be honest and um, and yeah like it was it's, it was an absolute no brainer from my side how nice was it coming back after joining back in October now yeah yeah I've I've really enjoyed every time I've played for Forest Green I've played quite a few games now and every time I've played I've enjoyed it um, it was it was unfortunate that I got the injury at the time I was I felt, felt like I was really getting going and really playing well and I got the injury that put me back six weeks um, the last few games I've played I felt a little bit rusty so I'm I'm, I'm getting back to, to to where I was um, when I first joined. Did it feel like a seamless transition for you coming back here because of familiar surroundings, especially up at the new lawn? Yeah, yeah, familiar. Yeah, that that, that was a that's a big thing for me. I know, um, big thing for me. Obviously, I played under the manager before, and I, I know how he works. I, I enjoy playing for him, and and I enjoy playing in front of the fans at the new lawn, and and that was a big thing coming back, being familiar, and getting back to enjoying football. Was the highlight of coming back that Cheltenham game? Was that where you felt you you played your best and a great goal as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that that was that was um, that was obviously good that game, and I, I really enjoyed it, and it was a good result for the team. Um, but it, like I said, there's there's a, there's a few games that obviously that I've enjoyed again this season. It's just the the injury really that that put me back in the six weeks that I missed. Um, but looking forward now for the new year and and get promoted at the end of the season. Yeah, I'm sure that injury makes it feel like it, that game was a lot longer ago than it was. Um, the injury itself as well, you had a little bit of a setback with it, weren't you? It wasn't an ankle uh, and talk me through that and, and how it feels now. Yeah, uh, from when I did it, from the first, um, when the tackle came in, when I first done it, I, I thought, I'd, thought I'd done something really bad, but um, it settled down quite quickly. The physios were quite surprised how the swelling went down quite quickly and... Um, we tried to go outside and I still couldn't couldn't functionally do stuff that I should be doing at that stage. So it's, it's just one of them. It just takes time. Sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's four to six weeks. So unfortunately it was six weeks, but um, that's part and parcel of football. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't. So six weeks is done now and um, I'm looking forward to getting back to match sharpness and, and really getting going. How have you felt over the last few games, a couple of 90 minutes under your belt now? Does it feel like you're getting back to, to what you were before that injury? Uh, yeah, I've, I've felt OK. Like, um, Matt Sharpness, probably not as where I want it to be, really. Um, but that's to be expected, to be honest, after quite quite a long time out. But, um, but like I said, uh, yeah, like you said, there's three games that I've played now, which I've... I've done okay like I'm not not really been happy with my performances to be honest but um but going into the new year now obviously the exit game and, and Crawley going forward I think I'll be better for it the result against Macclesfield how much of a boost was that at that time a win a good performance another clean sheet mm -hmm. it just seemed to be just what was needed yeah massive massive result um a result we needed um I think a performance the way we performed, I mean, grinding it out and and, and performing like that was, was good for us. A great header from Faz, great ball from Shep. Um, like I said, Macclesfield are, Macclesfield are a decent team. There's, they've got some good players. Obviously, they've had their problems off the field, but we, we approached the game we approached the game well and I thought like we, we, we did play well and we needed a game like that to win. Obviously, we've been struggling a little bit in front of goal recently, but um, but all going forward now, I think if we can get the first goal and, and start really positive against Exeter on New Year's Day. As, a, as one of the front linemen, how much pressure do you think there is on you and how important is it you being back in the team to try to leave that pressure on the goals from? Uh, yeah, I think I think as a team, I think as a team as a whole, we, we, we haven't been scoring enough goals from everywhere, really. It's, it's just it's been one of them, but we've been keeping clean sheets, so it's, it's one of them, it's a tough one. It's just, I, I do think it's a bit of luck sometimes, um, bunnering the ball in and um, get, getting that first goal, I think it's vital. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think there's pressure in for the front lads. That's, that's what we're paid to do, we're paid to score and assist goals when we haven't been doing that. So it's been, been frustrating, but it's not, it's not been for the want of not trying. Um, 
we've been we've been working hard on the training field to try and get some combinations going. And it, w it will come. It's just going for a little bit of a sticky patch at the moment, which every team does. Um, but we are keeping clean sheets, so that is a massive positive. Um, but just need to start clicking in front of goal. But if we've got good enough players here, it's not going to take long. A tough test, but a great way to start 2020 with a top five clash against Exeter. A team, obviously, you know well. Just talk me through how, how difficult that's going to be. They're a consistent team in this division, aren't they? Yeah, they're a, they're a fantastic team, to be honest. They've got some good, really good players. I know a lot of the players there. Um, like a big club, I live there, so it's a big big game for my family and stuff. So <laughs> not sure that we support Alexa or Forest Green, but... Um, but yeah, there's only one thing too they can be supported. <laughs> yeah, 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 but they're they they are a good team. They have been been solid in this division for a good good few years now, and and they got some they got some really good players and management staff as well that are really good there. So it'll be a tough game. They'll bring a good few fans to the new lawn, and and we'll we'll be looking forward to it. They're very much a front foot team as well, aren't they? They want to aggressive in attack, so. That defence will be tested, but it's, uh, as a whole, you'll all have to pull together to, to stop that and then see what you can do at the other end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we we know we know what they, they'll they'll probably do. They obviously they they've got some good players in midfield and and and, and, and up front. So we know we know what they're gonna they're gonna come at us with. Um, it's up to us now to try and put our game onto them, which which we're more than capable of. But like I said, it's gonna be one of the probably will be the toughest game of the season to be honest. They. They've obviously started the well, they're up there, so it'd be a massive result if we can win against Exit, it'd be a massive result for us to get us back up in that top three. It is a new year, time of resolutions, you've got your new your contract extension. Anything for the for the remainder of this season? Any resolutions uh, for you? Play more golf. <laughs> nah. Nah, I, yeah, not really to be honest, I'm, I'm not really on that. Just just to, just to be positive and just, just enjoy it. That's that's a thing for me, just enjoy myself to be honest well, I'll make sure I'm telling the stewards to check your family when they come in for any extra <laughs> yeah. scarves yeah exactly yeah that, my, my, uh, my father-in-law's got the boxing game he's a big Exeter he's a big Exeter fan but my wife and my dad and mum are uh, Forest Green fans well, and my daughter is so hopefully you have the smile on your face <laughs> come the end of the day yeah hopefully hopefully we'll um, like I said we'll, we'll go out and we'll do our best perfect appreciate your time Alex. thank you <laughs>